In this video, we will introduce remote controller mapping and crosshair planning of Agris T40 and T20P. Place the agricultural drone around the plot to be mapped, and ensure that there are no obstacles above the aircraft or within 30 meters of the area to be mapped. Note that the FPV camera has good lighting for taking pictures, and the slope of the terrain is less than 45 degrees. Otherwise, the photo overlap rate may not be enough and lead to failure of the reconstruction. Preparation before flight. Empty the spraying tank or spreading tank to ensure no load during mapping. Check and ensure that the battery level is sufficient. Check the RTK positioning status and ensure that it is in a good condition during mapping. Make sure that the drone is in normal state, then start. Click Select Task Mode in the top left corner. Click Route Mapping on the right. Click Add in the bottom right corner or R1 button on the right to create a new task. Set Crosshair as an example. Put Crosshair in the boundary points of the field and click Add to the right to create waypoints and the task area. Mapping area, estimated photo count, and estimated flight time can be checked on the top right corner. Note that there should be no crossover between waypoints, and the area to be mapped cannot be too big or too small. If the waypoint is not accurate, click and drag the waypoint after becoming green. If the waypoint is unnecessary, double-click and delete it. Finally, adjust route angle to make it parallel to the longest boundary, then reduce the number of turns, improve the efficiency of mapping, and effectively reduce the time for reconstruction. Click OK or R3 button after editing to save and name the task. The field to be mapped can be directly clicked and selected on the map or selected in the left task list by distance, time, or field name. Check the surrounding environment and the status of aircraft and remote controller. Click Start or R3 button after confirming no errors. After uploading, slide to the right or click R3 to execute the task. The aircraft will take off to a 30 meter height and fly to the start point and execute the mapping task at this height. The aircraft transmits pictures back to the remote controller in real time, and the latter starts preview reconstruction. On the right, total progress, route, photo, and reconstruction progress can be checked. It should be noted that the remote controller can still control the aircraft to avoid emergencies during the mapping operation. It is recommended not to arbitrarily adjust the flight height of the aircraft at the moment. Operations in the front, back, left, and right directions will interrupt the task, and you can click Start to continue. If the battery level is insufficient when performing the mapping mission, call it back to replace the battery and click the R3 button to continue the task. After the mapping is completed, the agricultural drone will return to home automatically. You can also choose to manually operate it to return. Avoid operating the remote controller during the reconstruction process. It will take some time, so be patient. After the reconstruction is completed, the plot and obstacles can be planned on the high-definition map. Click Field Planning. Select Crosshair and plan the field boundaries and the obstacles on the 3D map. After that, click OK or R3 button to save and name it. Select the plot wanted and click Use or R3 button. Adjust the route angle, route spacing, etc. according to the requirements. Click the task to set parameters according to the actual situation. Click Start or R3 button. After the route is uploaded, slide to the right or long press R3 button to make the aircraft take off. Then the fully autonomous operation can be performed. Thanks for watching.